Welcome back to Got Wire. I'm Adam. Man, it has been a busy month. Sorry I haven't put out a video in a little bit. I got married at the start of this month, and then I went to Unifies World Conference 2025 in Miami, Florida. I met a whole lot of cool YouTube creators. Uh, Cody from MacTalk.com Networks is just one of them, and then I met you know a couple other creators. If you were there, I hope you guys found them and said hi. Um, Tom from Lawrence Technology Systems. I uh, talked with him for a little bit. It was great to meet everybody and I had a blast there. Unify is coming out with some really cool stuff here in the future and I can't wait to see what they end up coming out with once they fully put it out. But today we have this Unify UPS 2U. It's $279 on their website right now. It's currently sold out though. So if you wanna get it, just sign up for their email reminders. And as soon as it comes in stock, it'll send you an email. That's normally what I do. I bought this one here with my own funds, my own money. Unify didn't send it to me. So we'll get this unboxed here and see what all comes in the box. It's got this cool pull tab here on the front. We'll just go ahead and pull it. So here in a minute, we'll go down to my rack. We'll get this racked up and plugged up. I can't wait to have a really good dedicated UPS in my rack because right now I don't have anything, which is bad. Man, this thing's heavy. So here's my rack. I had to unplug a switch to make it quieter because that 40 gig switch there on the bottom was really loud. But here's the UPS. We're gonna stick it in the bottom of my rack and plug it up and then plug up the management and get it adapted into my Unify controller. So I got the cage nuts put in. So we're gonna rack this up in the bottom, very bottom slot of my rack. And a pro tip, you always wanna start with the bottom screw because all the weight wants to go down and the bottom part wants to go out. So if you start with the bottom screw, it helps hold it up. I didn't do that here, but you wanna always try to do that when you're doing it, especially by yourself. Put something underneath the bottom back to help hold it up until I got all the screws in. So now all we gotta do is get it plugged up. All right, and the power button is on the back left of the unit here. So we'll go ahead and press that. And as you can see, it's turning on. So now I just have to run an ethernet cable from the back of its management port up to my switch. And then we'll go get it adapted. All right, now that I got that plugged up to my switch, this helped me get the wire up. If you don't have a glow rod like this, I would suggest buying one. They come in really handy, especially if you're running wires through the wall or into your crawl space. I use this thing a ton. So now let's go get this thing adopted into my Unify controller. All right, as you can see here, up top, UPS2U192168.4.15. I did have it on my management VLAN, which is a 10 dot whatever network, but my Unify controller couldn't see it because it was on a different VLAN even though they could talk there was no firewall rules um, i guess it couldn't see it so i had to set it with a dhcp reservation on my router so it would get an ip address so it was kind of like that problem that i had with the ups tower where it wasn't pulling the right ip address so if you get one of these you probably have to set up a dhcp reservation on your router just find the mac address and do it that way that's what i did so we're going to click on click to adopt here wait for it to adopt and see what we can see in the interface here. All right, it's adopted, it says up to date. We'll click on it here. We can see the power ports, like I said, you have four on the back that are connected to the battery, and then you have four that are just surge. And then these are probably the two SFP uh, ports that are surge over here on the right. And then this is your ethernet port for your management that I'm plugged into. It's only a 10100 port, so that's why it's yellow. FE and Unify software stands for 10100 or, you know, just 100 slow. So if you ever see FE on one of your main connections, there's a wiring problem. I actually had one of my access points, so I was getting some slow speeds. I had a bad connection on my uh, on my keystone on the jack. But anyways, here, uh, right now the battery is charging 92% full. I don't have anything plugged into it right now. So surge slash power utilization, zero to 10%. So it should be zero because there's nothing plugged into it. I don't know why it has a little line there. And then safe shutdown pairing. I have a UNAS2. So you can plug your UNAS2 into it. And if the power goes out, 
and it gets close to being dead, it'll safely shut down your UNAS2 for you, which is pretty cool. I might move my UNAS2 into my rack and just plug it into that and set it on top of it because right now I don't have my UNAS2 plugged into a UPS. It's just plugged into the wall. I got lazy and didn't plug it into a UPS. There's nothing important on there anyways. But I'll tell you the voltage that it's getting in, 124 volts. It'll tell you your uptime, network, default, and then device version, and then the MAC address. You have history tab here, and then you get your settings. You can rename it. You can do a static IP once you get ado adopted. I'm just going to leave it as the DHCP reservation on my router. It'll probably be behoove me to do a static, which I'll go ahead and do it now. So if my router doesn't apply that DHCP reservation, it'll still assign itself that IP address. And then uh, manage, you can turn on and off the LED, I guess. You can set replacement device. I guess you can copy the configuration, whatever configuration it has, and then you can load configuration. You can locate it. And it'll cause the LED to start blinking, reset, remote power off, or remove it from your controller. So it's pretty basic. I wish in the future Unify would give us the ability to click on the ports and turn them on and off from the software here so you can manually like if you have your router plugged into that port you can manually reboot it and see if it comes back up or if you have like a server plugged in you can click on that port and power cycle the server you know from your UPS that would be really cool if they implemented that maybe in a software update. So all in all, I really like this Unify UPS2U battery backup. I'm going to use it for my dedicated battery backup in my rack. The only bad thing is it's a little bit small. It says on their website at 500 watts continuous use. It'll only last for about eight minutes, but I guess that's long enough for you to shut down all your servers safely. And random side note, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did paint my background. And I also have a new camera that I'm filming with, a Sony camera. And I also have an external mic for it. So hopefully the audio is not too bad. And I added some stuff here in the background. So if it looks or sounds any better than just me when I used my phone and my other external mic, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Also down in the description, I have Amazon affiliate links to everything that I have in my rack. So if you want to buy those patch panels or any of those small, cat 5 patch cords they're linked down in the description on my amazon affiliate store i also have a youtube partnership program link down there you can pay five bucks a month and you get extra behind the scenes footage of me when i film these videos and then i also have my discord link down there you guys can join my discord if you want to share anything go ahead and share it i'm always in there i'll see it but that's all i have for this unify ups to you i'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching